Hello everyone, welcome to Vishesh Educational Videos. In this video, I am explaining about hard and symbolic links. So what is the difference between hard link and a symbolic link? So if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. To get the notification of my new videos, please click the bell icon. So please don't forget to like the video. Please don't forget to share the video with your friends. So let me begin the explanation of hard and symbolic links. So hard link in a Unix is nothing but a path name for a file. When you create a file in Unix, the path name will be generated. For example, you can see there, uh, I'm creating a file, uh, Vishu here, that is the name of the file. You can see there, uh, that uh, Vishu file is uh, present in the user directory. So path name is separated by a slash. You can see there. Right? So whenever you create a file, the path name will be generated for a file. Right? So most of the Unix files will be having only one hard link. That means for every file, uh, there will be a uh, path name right so when you create a file uh, how, how many paths are uh, how many paths will be generated for a file only one path name will be generated for for a file initially most of the files will be having only one hard link how we are going to create a hard link in unix in order to create a hard link we can use the command ln for example here consider a file uh, which is the file world world uh, the, what is the name of the file here consider my file name as world see where, where that uh, what is the path name of the file world if you want to find the file world you have to go to the user directory first then you have to go to the vishu directory then you you can find the uh, file world you can see there that is the path name path name is separated by the slash so first slash is root then user root root is the right uh, parent directory right root is the first directory of any file system that is a parent directory that is that's why it is a slash slash represents the root directory then you have to go to the user directory then in that user directory you have to find out the directory of a user visual then you can find out the file world right so this is uh, a right a default path name of your file when you create a file only one hard link will be generated suppose if you want to create two or more hard links to a file how you can do that means using a command ln that means you can create a hard link using a ln command you can see there here ln user issue hold user issue new what it means so you can find the same file right you can uh, you this is the same file can be accessed using two path names same file can be accessed using two path name you can find out that particular file using a path user issue world or you can use the same uh, or you can uh, or i can access the same file using the another path that is user issue new same file will be present in both the locations so that means same file contains two path names here getting guys so after executing this ln command we can refer the file by either user issue user slash issue slash old or user slash issue slash new same file can be found in both these locations two path names will be there for a single file now when you execute this ln command Hope you are understanding guys. Now, in this way you can create a hard link for a file. That is ln you can use. Suppose if you want to create a symbolic link. How to create a symbolic link for a file. I will explain the difference between the hard link and the symbolic link. But how to create a symbolic link. Yeah, the same command will be used with the minus s option. To create the symbolic link, uh, you have to use ln minus s command now you can ask a question what is the difference here so hard link and uh, hard links means uh, the path name for a file you can create the uh, any number of hard links to a file 
Now, what is the difference between a odd link and a soft symbolic link? See here. So, ln command differs from the cp command. What it means? Uh, cp means copy creates a duplicated copy of a file to another file with a different path name. Right? Same contents of a file will be copied to the another file that is duplicated copy will be created and two path uh, with a different path names. Path names will change, but where in ln command creates a new directory to reference a file. Right? Getting guys, don't get confused here. So same file can be found out in one or two or three locations. You can create any number of hard links. The contents remains the same. Don't need to copy the contents to the another file. No, same file, same file can be found in two locations. That is hard link. Symbolic link means symbolic link contains the link to the particular file. I will explain the difference. Right? No worries. So far you should know this. How to create a symbolic link? Uh, using a ls minus s command. How to create a hard link? Using a ln command. Right? If you have any doubts, please post your doubts in the comment section. Right? So for example, see. See the difference here. See. Case 1, hard link file. You know you will understand the difference clearly. So, how to create hard link? Using ln command. I am creating the hard link here. Uh, ln slash user slash divya slash abc. In the same way, slash user slash raj slash xyz. Here, you can see the contents of the directory files. User divya and user raj here. You can see... What is the content of, uh, what is the inode number of the file ABC here? 201. What is the inode number of the file XYZ here? 201. Hope you are understanding now. The inode number won't change. The contents of ABC is same. The content of XY is, uh, XYZ is same. No new file is created. It is the same file. But it contains two different path names getting guys both use slash user slash dv slash abc and slash user slash rush slash xyz both refer to the same unknown number 201 thus no new file is created if you open abc if you open xyz the contents remains the same same file will be there but with different path name that's why I know number won't change because I am not creating the new file. Same file with the different path names is allocated here. Different path name is allocated for the file. No file is created here. Getting guys, that is the difference. This is hard link. Same file can contain two or more path names. That's why the inode number is same. I know number won't change. But in symbolic link, it is not a case. See here. Case 2. For the same operation, if ln minus s command is used, a new inode will be created. In hard link, you know that the same file was there, only path name was allocated, no new file is created. But here in a soft symbolic link, what happens? See here, ln minus s slash user slash divya slash abc slash user slash raj slash xyz. So you can see the content of the directory file for the raj and divya here. You can see there. The file name, inode number, what is the file name of ABC? Uh, sorry, what is the uh, inode number of the file name ABC? 201. In the same way, what is the inode number uh, of XYZ here? XYZ inode number is now changed 450. That is, the new file is created here. Getting guys? So here, LS minus S, what, it, uh, what happens means here, it contains only the path name. What is the meaning of it? Suppose if you open the file XYZ, XYZ contains the path name for the file ABC. XYZ contains the path name of the file ABC. The contents of the ABC will not be there in, in the XYZ. In hard link, same file, two path names. But it's not a case here. 
to open the contents of the abc you can open the contents of the abc abc by clicking on the xyz file there that xyz file contains the link then if you press that link you can uh, open the file uh, file abc getting guys this is the difference between r link and a symbolic link symbolic link contain uh, symbolic yeah symbolic link contains only the path name of the original file path name of the original file hope you are understanding guys suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section so see here if cp command copy command was used then data contents will be identical and the two files will be separate objects in the file system getting guys copy means duplicated copies will be there to same contents will be there in the two files but if in the file system if you use ln minus the data will contain only the path name the contents won't be duplicated if you want to open the contents of the abc you can directly use the path name that is user slash dvs slash abc or if you want to open the file abc you can uh, click the path that is present in the file xyz you can open the xyz file then you can click the link that is present in the xyz file thereby you can open the file abc hope you are understanding the difference if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section right so what are the limitations of hard link here so user cannot create hard links for directories unless he has super user privileges so to create the hard link for the directories uh, user should have a super user privilege so, uh, if you do if a user doesn't have any administration privileges uh, it is not possible to create him create hard links right that is the disadvantage next what is the second disadvantage user cannot create hard link on a file system that reference files on a different file system so, yes very very important right so every file system have a separate inode number so for example in windows we have two file two different types of file systems we can use for example ntfs file system and fts file system so for ntfs there will be separate inode number for fts there will be a separate inode number so different different file systems will have different different inode numbers thereby we can't that's why we can't create a hard link on a file system that references files on a different file system if my file is referring a uh, another file that is present on the different file system it is not possible suppose assume that i created the file in the ntfs file system but my file that is present in the mfs ntfs file system is trying to access the file that is present in the ftf fts file system then it is it's not possible because uh, inode number in the ntfs is different and inode number in the fts file system is different if you want to access it both the uh, right uh, both the files should be on the same file system either it should be in ntfs or it should be uh, or it should be in fts if a ntfs file try to access the file that is present in the ftfs it is not possible that is not possible that is one another disadvantage right because i node number is unique for different different file systems hope you are understanding guys right so differences what is the difference between hard link and a symbolic link right so hard link so you as you all know hard link does not create a new i node you have seen that but symbolic link for a file the new i node number will be created right you have seen that here right so 450 for a xyz 201 for a apc if you use a symbolic link but here in hard link case 201 was the inode number for both abc and the xyz right guys so that is the first difference what is the second difference so hard link count will be increased for the file you can see uh, you can uh, tell that uh, my file ca contains two path names that is possible A single file can contain two or more path names any number of pa uh, any number of paths it can contain file hard links it can uh, hard link count can increase but if you use a symbolic link uh, the path won't change right the path won't be affected it does not uh, increase the count of the file link count of the file because uh, symbolic link contains only the 
path name of that particular original file it does not uh, create one more link right that's why link count can be increased in hard link but link count won't be uh, affected in symbolic link hard link what uh, you know that it can't link directory file unless unless it is done by super user you know that but symbolic link it is easy it can link directory files because it contains only path name of for the other file right it contains only path name for the other file that's why you can link the directory files in symbolic link yes it's possible but uh, you can't uh, create uh, link if hard link if it doesn't have any super user privilege right next it can't link across different file system that also you know right so you can't link files that are present in different different file system but if you use a symbolic link it can link file across different file system yes it's possible if you want to access the file that is in ntfs and uh, sorry the if you want to access the file uh, that is present in ftfs from the ntfs file system right if you want to access the file that is present in ftf fts from ntfs it is possible if you use a symbolic link because it just contain a path name that's why you can access any file that is present in any file system if you use a symbolic link but in hard link it is not possible so what is the command to create a hard link ln what is the command to create a symbolic link ln minus s yes. that's the difference you have to use minus s option if you are creating a symbolic link with the ln getting guys so hope you are understanding the concepts suppose if you have any doubts please post your doubts in the comment section thank you thank you for watching the video